Teachers in Myanmar have joined a small but growing civil disobedience campaign against the military coup. The rallies have taken place after Aung San Suu Kyi's right-hand man, Win Tian, was arrested. Live to Leong Wai Kit in just a moment, but first, a look at what's been happening. Days after the military coup, opposition appears to be getting bolder. The civil disobedience campaign that began with medical workers has now spread to include teachers and students. Reports say hundreds have gone on strikes at university campuses in Yangon. The rallies come after the arrest of Ms. Suu Kyi's key aide and senior leader, Win Tain. He has reportedly been arrested under sedition laws shortly after calling the coup a curse. He also urged people to rally against the takeover. Facebook remains blocked in Myanmar, cutting access to information and communication for millions. Many are taking to Twitter instead, or are using VPN services to bypass the blockade. The United Nations Security Council has called for the immediate release of detained leaders, including Aung San Suu Kyi. It expressed deep concern at the situation in Myanmar, but stopped short of condemning or calling the takeover a coup. Leong Waikit joins us live for more. Waikit, Aung San Suu Kyi's NLD officially telling protesters to support civil disobedience. It seems that's the case. That's right, Steve. And this came from the NLD's information team in which they said not only will they support the civil disobedience movement, they will also find it its duty to take care of people who are being arrested or sacked as a result of the movement. And perhaps it should not come as a surprise because this uh, movement is supposed to be launched peacefully. And NLD has always been about people's power. Now, I've been in touch with NLD all along, even on the day of the coup. Early in the morning, I was in touch with NLD uh, before some of them were arrested. But before February 1st, just slightly before uh, February 1st, I asked NLD whether it is afraid that the Myanmar army may launch a coup. It said no, and its uh, NLD's words were, the army may have firepower, but NLD has people's power. But I must also point out that this civil disobedience movement has rippling effects in Myanmar. I mean, you've seen footage of people protesting. These are professionals. They're your teachers, your, your doctors especially. And at this time in Myanmar, it's going to be very difficult. The pandemic is still ongoing. People are going for vaccinations. And this has also prompted the uh, military government to launch a statement saying that its military hospitals will remain open to treat everybody. And it also discourages doctors and healthcare workers from joining the movement. Well, could, on the economic front, Japanese beer giant Kirin says it's cutting ties with a major company that's actually linked to the military. Could more companies follow suit? Well, that's the question I asked many of my analyst friends. Uh, of course, at this moment, what this can be seen as is that it sets a precedence. So many companies will, behind closed door, look inwards to weigh the options human rights versus business. But perhaps for Kirin, the answer is obvious. I mean, if you re recall, uh, Kirin has been under international condemnation for working with the Myanmar army during the Rohingya crisis where the army was accused of uh, rolling out genocide against the Rohingyas in Rakhine State. Uh, but it continued to stay. Uh, analysts tell me that this coup is the last straw. Its reputation is at stake. Um, economically within Myanmar, this has uh, impact because Kirin is no small player. It owns about half of the uh, shares in the joint venture, which means to say it is one of the top taxpayers in the country.